Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using lady scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. In the beginning, Old Spice was more focused on selling to the older male demographic. But as the brand has grown, these original products became known as classic Old Spice and are not as prevalent in the current product mix. The new owners of Old Spice wanted to make the brand younger by marketing to young adults and teenagers. The current target market is men between the ages of 18 and 24. In order to reposition its marketing strategy, Old Spice has introduced many new forms of its existing products, as well as new scents that are more appealing to the new target market. The more current brand still includes many similar products to the classic Old Spice, but it is divided into five different product assortments. These include antiperspirants, deodorants, body washes, body sprays, and fragrances. There are also six pro product lines within these assortments, including High Endurance, Red Zone, Classic, Fresh Collection, Sweat Defense, and Odor Blocker. Each of these lines has a unique scent for each product type, such as Fiji, Matterhorn, Cypress, and Denali of the Fresh Collection. All products have similar packaging that is either red or white with a sailing logo and the brand name written in classic cursive. Old Spice has also started selling promotional items such as flasks, belt buckles, hats, t-shirts, and other apparel in order to advertise the product more effecti effectively. From 2008 to 2010, deodorant and antiperspirant prices stayed fairly stable, proving that Old Spice's products are resistant to a recession. Most people spend about $2.50 to $4.50 per container of deodorant, but most competitive retailers, such as Axe, price their products between the range of $1.50 and $4.50. Old Spice deodorant antiperspirant products range from $1.50 to $4.39, varying by consumer preference based on scent and or performance. Quantity and quality play a large role in the strategy of Old Spice. Old Spice tailors to the price conscious consumer who needs a smaller container with the same quality as a higher price size bottle. Like other brands, performance and price go hand in hand. As the performance power of the product increases, so does the price. Old Spice has three different price levels, $2.79 price level, a $4.19 price level, and a $4.39 price level. Red Zone and High Endurance lines are placed on a higher price level due to the suggestion of better performance. Although consumers see that they are paying more, they are getting a higher quality product with the scent of their choice, still in the moderate price point range compared to their competitors. Old Spice's products target all consumer preferences, from antiperspirants, deodorants, to body sprays. These products cover the range of prices that the consumer is willing to spend, which makes Old Spice the leader in men's deodorants. Danger excites me, but I can't fully enjoy it when I smell like fear and body odor, so I prepare myself with a manly scent of Old Spice Danger Zone. <laughs> Because even if something bad does happen to a danger zone man, it won't smell like something bad happened. Because the secret to smelling careless is... And when you smell like Old Spice Danger Zone, trust me, you'll smell like you have nothing to worry about. You smell like you look amazing. Amazing, I know. Old Spice has an intensive distribution, meaning that they distribute their product through as many outlets as possible so that the consumers come across the product wherever they go. You can find Old Spice products in wholesalers, retailers such as Target and Walmart, as well as online outlets like Amazon. Old Spice did not always have such possibilities with distributing. Procter & Gamble acquiring the company in 1990 made it much easier for Old Spice to reach a larger selection of stores. Procter & Gamble itself distributes more than 300 different products, 
automatically giving Old Spice a strong base to take advantage of. Old Spice now exports their products to 30 markets worldwide. By shifting to intermodal transportation and using more boats and trains versus trucks and planes to transport items, Procter & Gamble is trying to lessen their impact on the environment. Procter & Gamble recently joined forces with Rider System Incorporated in order to better optimize their transportation strategy as well. Rider System Inc. helps them consolidate freight and loads and reduce the transit time. Old Spice is continuing to better their transportation methods all while trying to maximize the global reach of their products. No, I'm not a well-decorated sea captain who battles monsters on a large nautical vessel, but thanks to Old Spice, I smell like I am. Old Spice uses many forms of promotion such as advertising, sales promotion, event sponsorship and marketing, publicity, use of digital media, and public relations. Old Spice separates itself from its competitors like Axe through creative campaign strategies targeting its core consumer base of young men from the ages of 18 to 24. One of the first forms of publicity that Old Spice uses to promote their brand is the use of television and advertising. In the last three years, Old Spice has focused heavily on this strategy and has been a proven success through its sales. The humorous creative frames Old Spice uses in their commercials portray confidence and attractiveness playing on the male bravado. Further contributing to the success of these campaigns is appeal to both men and women who may be purchasing Old Spice products for their significant other. While these advertisements were focused on specific products, they had an umbrella type effect that translated to the increase of sales across all products. Another form of promotion that Old Spice uses to reach their target market is the usage of digital media. Old Spice uses Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and their company websites to promote their brand. Since 2006, Old Spice has served as a title sponsor for an early season NCAA basketball tournament. The tournament is a three-day, eight-team event held Thanksgiving weekend featuring major and mid-major college basketball teams. Not surprisingly, this event is both participated in and viewed by the target market. Old Spice has launched several sales promotions to coincide with this tournament, offering coupons and free products to participating universities. Being a champion isn't about overcoming adversity. It's about romancing that adversity until it's fallen in love with you and starts hinting about getting a dog together, maybe. Old Spice faces monopolistic competition in the booming men's grooming market. Old Spice had previously focused on scents for older target markets, but after Procter & Gamble acquired Old Spice in 1990, the company repositioned the brand and adapted the marketing mix for a younger target market. With Old Spice targeting the younger 18-24 to 24 male demographic, this has aligned degree this has aligned Old Spice with its competitive rivals Degree, Gillette, and Axe. Old Spice also competes with Dove and Nivea. Axe competes with Old Spice for the target market of young male adults with their product lines of body wash and deodorant. But also but Axe also offers body sprays and hair products. Meanwhile, Old Spice offers antiperspirants, deodorants, and high performance deodorant. Aftershave and cologne. Gillette, on the other hand, targets men from 18 to 35. Gillette dominates the razor selling market and has begun offering body wash, antiperspirant, and deodorant. Gillette benefits from brand familiarity, so more consumers would be, would be willing to try Gillette body products because they trust the quality of Gillette shaving products. Degree focuses on deodorants and antiperspirants and tries to offer the best products for active users who are embarrassed by odor. Degree also sells many lines of women's deodorant, creating the brand trust and familiarity. Other competitors to Old Spice are Dove and Nivea. Within the last few years, Dove has begun selling men's products such as body and face wash, deodorants, and antiperspirants. Nivea offers body wash, shaving gel, aftershave lotions, and facial care products. The major competitive barriers to men's care products are access to a nationwide or global distribution network and consumers to try and pick the brand over the more established and trusted brands. Power! <laughs>